MEX. Basically, a cooler name. Yeah, I don't be giving no fucks. <laughs> We back, we live, we vlogging. Yeah. Yo, we are back and we're vlogging today. We're just planning out like the end of the year. It's like the beginning of December. And so obviously going into 2024, we have a lot of goals. We have a lot of things that we want to do. So we're just going to like plan and we're going to edit. We had like a whole bunch of footage to go over. I just lost a whole bunch of footage, y'all. But it's okay because we're still going to come back with some major. Hey, so on so the fit, man. I'm Not still yet. in your seat. Okay. All right, y'all. So... Let me show y'all what's going on in the lab right now. I don't even know what we're about to do. So I just lost all my footage. It happened to me too, man. It's just learning experiences. We're new to this, so I don't know if we'll be true to this. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. So it's currently 9:22. We're gonna do some editing and some planning today. It's December 4th, and we're trying to like plan all the things before the end of 2024. Trying to get ahead on YouTube goals, write down things that we want to achieve. Things that we want to do, all that. So, y'all, we have like a lot of goals and things like that that we want. You cannot be successful if you're not planning out your goals, if you're not planning and visualizing what you want to achieve for yourself, especially going into a new year. We're about to be 18. I'm literally. 18. I'm, gonna ask I'm about to be 18. <laughs> we're about to graduate, right. is what I'm saying. <laughs> we're about to graduate and we're about to start a new chapter. So, yeah, like I just think if you want to have successful goals, you just gotta plan. So, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, y'all, so let me show y'all my chest because, yeah, don't play that for on. I got a candy bar. Ah! Oh, this shit actually fire, though. Yeah. All you gotta do is take a candy bar. We're gonna play. Before I end, I flip my license plate before we ride. I'm a civilian, bro. Oh, with me is not no thug. <laughs> I don't want to have a quan situation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, little. If any of y'all mamas want to do my hair, yeah. hopefully they fine. If y'all mamas fine and they want to do my hair and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yo, don't you? I don't got don't YouTube you? money yet, but. So. Yo, we did a vlog for the crib. They shit was funny as fuck. But like, that's the only time niggas got it. I'm trying to live around while I'm in the field shooting. <laughs> so, if he's not. Little, little no. <laughs> Alright y'all, we back yapped in. I love my girlfriend. Damn, that looks. <laughs> you is actually sweet, like. But I love it though. Like, Mia is on the way. We're finna keep editing, keep planning. We're finna get some food with the gang. I just wanna know like, so basically, are you gonna buy her like the Tesla first or are you gonna go? Like AMG type or like Mercedes Benz C class. Like, trying to go Rose Red Cullen and Billy. Goddamn. <laughs> she got you feeling Rose Royce? Yeah, Billy Ben Taken might be cool for the first little gift. What Christmas shit? So look at this footage. Like, yo, Paris was like, yo. <laughs> what? Don't ever say that word again. <laughs> what word? Paris. <laughs> Morning, fully out at 10 a.m. <laughs> you guys are so YouTube, bro. Oh my god, like y'all communicate with me. I record this shit. Oh, this shit cool. <laughs> the fuck going on, bro? <laughs> y'all niggas, like, do y'all want to record today? Like, what the fuck? Y'all niggas really real life YouTube. Put their bag and put a switch on the nigga. Right. Can you go get her? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's where the clip ends, nigga. We coming. <laughs> Is it yeah? This is the Jeez, studio. Is this the scoop? This, no, this is real. Okay. Is that? Uh, <laughs> you got Tay? Who is that? You got me? No, my me. Not right now. I'm back with another video. It's your boy Third, and we going crazy. <laughs> you're, how do you get your background? <laughs> oh, um, Canva. So I need to do my homework on Canvas when I need to. I'm gonna put that in my notes because I've been using like Okay, we all locked in, we all locked in. Oh well, you didn't even say what's up to the vlog. What's up, vlog? Oh, me and Simone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 
tap into her YouTube. She just dropped a new video. Stay tuned oh, yeah, for the vlog, Mrs. Drive. We did like end of 23. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna split it mine into a three. I think we're all doing a three part series. Oh, it's just gonna be like a montage of like just going over the year and like the end. Oh, yeah. So it's just gonna be like all music. It's not gonna be like the entire maintenance vlog is on there. So. <laughs> you know that, like you said that too, and you're like, no, there's no way. Like, and no, no, no way. Wait, who did? Yeah, so you gotta open it up. We might, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh Okay, so I'm gonna put that under yours too. Uh, Give me ox. If you ox. Just one song, bro. Give me ox. <laughs> <laughs> he wakes up like this. <laughs> I remember rocking Bugle Boy, now rock the Simon Jeans. In one case, I got 22K and all my name ain't got time. What else do we wanna do? Q1 of 2024. We should up in that range on me. I ain't in no game, but if you run up, I'm gon' bang on me. Call that It's like this. This shit's gonna go viral. Cause this is, like, I've been watching a whole bunch of YouTube and other videos that tell you would go viral. These shorts with this text is like, I was actually gonna some, uh, like clips. Like, I was thinking about that, but I was so, like, like, the part where it says, like, gas, we smoke, have it over there. And then yeah, the part like, I literally just put the intro of everything and then just put a title over it. So when I did it on TikTok, it was like, the same kind of so I'm gonna just keep posting videos like this and then just use the same viral sound because if it's like a top it's viral 50 so that's probably what I'm gonna do for that time I saw this thing in an analytic video where they said that you could turn on auto sub so when somebody clicks a link to your channel as soon as it pops up it will be like subscribe to da 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 like or it'll be like unsubscribe like it will automatically subscribe on TikTok? no on YouTube bitch I got that Zante What's up, y'all? We back, and we've been planning for a little bit. We got a lot of stuff done. I can't lie. This, nah. This is a lot of stuff. Uh, let me tell you what really happened. See, we had to take a little break. If you're an efficient study year, every efficient study year and every efficient worker knows that you got to take a break sometime. Mm. Refill your body. So mm. you're not sitting here and tired. And we're hungry. Ted talks stupid ass. Shut those stupid ass. <laughs> okay, now I got to get on y'all. Give y'all words of affirmation for the day, man. Mm. See, sometimes in life, we feel like we get into a stuck point. We feel like we can't move forward. We feel like we're too stuck on the past. Mm. But what you got to think about is not just the present, but the future. Because mm. you might have a bad thought that happened yesterday. Mm. But what are you doing today to fix it? Mm. What are you going to do tomorrow to make it better and make sure it never happens again? Mm. Uh, <laughs> three, four, five, five, <laughs> Hey, motivation. What? Do your homework on me be a motivation to do your homework on how I'm finished out a podcast. Ooh. And really. I went to school and then I left early. Oh, yeah. Take care. Take care. Oh, she's crazy. She's crazy. Are y'all talking yeah. shit? Nah, y'all niggas are talking shit. When I watch this vlog, we are filming a vlog right now. We're edit. We got editing on Premiere Pro. Nigga, I'm not gonna lie. I'm saying we on the line. Yeah, we on the line. We got the edit. Yeah, 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 we got the
It's a little too cold for me. <laughs> I rate it. A 6.5. <laughs> what was probably one of your like most eye-opening experiences? Bro. That you've had this year. It could be any experience, good, it? bad, yeah. Shit. Any any point, any time. The most eye-opening experience was really Africa, man. Like Africa for you? I would say Paris for me too. What about you? I was gonna go um, a totally different route that. No, that's what I'm saying. Nah, open it. Answer how you answer. It could be good, bad, it could be a bad experience. Oh, that's spicy. Like the person. The atomic? Yes. It's OD. My mouth on fire. So I feel like my most eye opening experience was just like the process of losing friends. Mm. So how did you feel when you were going through your like period of isolation? Um, I was definitely isolated like all summer, which is like the craziest time. To summer? Be yes. Bro, summer. Mm. That'd, be, that'd be the times, man. Craziest time to be isolated, but like, very feeling. I feel like it was needed this year. I could blossom next year. Definitely think that after the year that we had junior year, the distance during the summer was so needed. Because as soon as I got back to CLT, I was right back on the same shit. Yeah. Was, um, what was your favorite part about Paris? Yeah. Mm. I was there for. It was just such an amazing trip. I think I figured out a lot about myself in that time. And obviously it was like something big for me because I was doing like modeling things there. When I, and I also have family there, so I stayed with them. So it was just like amazing to have a fresh breath of air, especially after the year that I had. And that's another thing. The time that we were out doing all that party shit, mental me too. was terrible. And I didn't even know it for and it's sad because it's like our best times are craziest times. Our but peak. Yeah, but that was when mentally we were at our literal work. That goes to show that having a lot of people around you isn't even beneficial if they're not helping you grow. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not real genuine relationships. Having more genuine. Y'all like, gonna watch that and be like, damn, you thirsty. <laughs> I'll peep through the camera. I said, damn. <laughs> I know that water here. I did that atomic wing. Like it's hot. I feel like sometimes we ourselves around the wrong type of people. Like, I'm not saying like it's a good thing to have a small circle, cause sometimes it does get lonely, and loneliness does kill people in a real in a real life setting. Mm -hmm. You're still around the wrong type of people. You're killing yourself in a different type of way. You killing your creativity. You killing like your future, your plans, all that. If you can't like excel. With so when they say that you are who you hang around, that's not true. You don't think so? Nah. No. Are you serious? Like if your friend a hoe, you a hoe? Mm-mm. Habits y'all emulate. Are you gonna stay friends with somebody who toxic, manipulative, always tries to dumb again to be da da da? Are you gonna be friends with somebody who likes I, to make comments I believe on their shit? Because you're not gonna be friends with somebody who doesn't stand for the things that you stand for. Mm-hmm. And I feel like But yeah, there's also like exceptions. There's know? exceptions, of course. Like politically, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what you think. But I was thinking about like no. Mm -hmm. But yes, at the same time, because, you know what I'm saying, like minds, like, further flutter fight together. So you think it's like, the traits that people have, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Like, mad hoes or hate hoes, they be hanging with other hate hoes. Same way successful people hang with successful people. Insecure people hang with insecure people. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, it's, you want to be around people that understand you, but there's no reason for you to be around them. So even like, not even like you want to not be friends with those people, you just have no attraction to like who they are as a person. Mm -hmm. Facts. I feel like I'm going through that right now. I feel like I've been very not picky with picking friends. Mm -hmm. And now like, now that I'm doing, focusing on me and doing what I want to do, the friends aren't reflected like the support that I want. And, and I feel like as our awareness grows, we realize that a lot of like real relationships or a lot of relationships that we thought we had aren't real. They're like attachments due to like proximity, due to being close to each other, due to these titles that we give each other. So it's attachment, it's not a genuine connection. What well, we were saying, we were talking about it. even with people's personalities, like at a certain point, it's a difference between like who you are just because you're around a certain like, group of people, you're in a certain place like school. School mm -hmm. makes you do things that you know, like wouldn't normally do. Mm -hmm. But at some point, it's gonna come to the point where it's like, no, this is actually who you are as a person. Like, it's not because you was at school or because you was around a certain type of group. I feel like a big indication of your friends not being your real friends is if you get around them, then you start acting different than how you know you are. Like, if you're a different person around them or if you know that she's acting different. Yeah, you feel, you don't feel like yourself yeah, when you're like, with you, them. You see the difference between how you act with one friend and a different friend. Yes! Uh, it's good as like, 
our sophomore year is basically our freshman year. So it's like yeah. during your freshman year, you fresh out of middle school. Mm-hmm. Like, you still have that hive mind where like my friends doing something cool, so I want to do what they're doing. Yeah. You don't have your own individuality. I was scared to put my work out there. Same. So I knew that I was be on it. And I'm, I'm already a big enough judge of my work. So to think that somebody else will have an opinion on my stuff, I just wasn't rocking with it. So instead of like just doing it, and just pushing through and just putting my stuff out there, I just kind of held myself back. But now that I understand, like, you're gonna find your niche of people. Like, somebody's gonna like your stuff no matter what. So if you just put it out there and target the people that you think that will like your stuff or your content, then like, that's how you grow.